All right, thank you for joining me again. My name is Wale Lawal. I'm a real estate agent and investor in the Houston, Texas market. A lot of time, a lot of people call me and say, hey Wale, should I be buying because of cash flow or appreciation? Or is there any way we can find both of them together in the Houston, Texas market? Or should I just strictly focus on one of them? Now, in this video, I wanna just quickly break down to you if you should be buying because of cash flow or the reason why you may wanna buy because of cash flow and the reason why you should be buying because of appreciation or is it even possible to find a way to combine both of them together now i will take you back a little bit in, in time uh, in 2007 people were losing their houses to uh, foreclosure because they were unable to meet up their monthly mortgage obligation and which eventually led to the 2008 real estate crash the reason for this is because the lending were not um, very up to standard they were not really pre-approving the lender the borrowers you know very well the standard of getting loan was very very, very low and anybody can just get a loan so it was the the fundamental was very wrong there as compared to 2022 it is different to get a loan right now your profile has to be very solid according to a, a an article i read there is about 720 credit score and above for people that are actually qualifying to buy a house right now so what does that mean it means that they have a very solid financial profile so that was what happened in 2007 and this after that people start talking about cash flow that they need to buy a house that will cash flow because they believe that once the cash flow whatever happened to the market they will be able to keep the property for a long time because the property will be paying for itself and the cash flow will be it will be a reserve for them to sustain their property for throughout the challenge period now why that is a very good idea we are in a very dynamic market right now 2020 has taught us a lot of things that um, things can change overnight i've seen a lot of people being stuck that if that property did not cash flow they are not going to buy it. They're probably making some mistakes because the real estate market is very, very, very competitive. Prices are going up really fast and they probably have lost on some good opportunity because it didn't cash flow. Now, here are a few reasons why you might focus on cash flow only. Number one, if you're looking to leave your W2 job in the next few years and you believe the cash flow is what you need to make sure your property is cash flowing and you can calculate how many properties do you need to replace your monthly expenses and all those things, then you can do that math it out three four years five years have that amount of cash flow you can leave your job that's one reason number two reason could be that um you're just too skeptical that you just don't believe in appreciation if the property did not cash flow you don't want to buy them that could also be your reason as well but on the other side people that are buying because of appreciation they are going to be having a quality tenant experience because typically this neighborhood are always better than where you find a lot of cash flow properties that's number one the number two is that you are building a long time well because people that actually make money in real estate or that make fortune in real estate they don't make that fortune by $200 or even $300 cash flow monthly cash flow on, on each dollar. they make the fortune by holding real estate by buying the good neighborhood and holding for a decent amount of time and the market pretty much bless them with the appreciation another benefit is that if you buy in a good neighborhood or you buy an appreciating property you will enjoy your investment investment overall because everything around that will just be working for you because people that will be willing to live in your house or people that will be you'll be encountering on your on a monthly basis based on your property people of higher caliber as well i've seen a lot of people thinking about property that will cash flow on paper but they're actually buying future problems they are buying deferred maintenance so they buy the property year one was good from year two things start breaking down and um, they start fixing it so in reality they actually even never negative but on paper on excel spreadsheets it looks like oh this property is going to cash flow 500 dollars a month and all those things so what i do tell my clients is if you see a property that will cash flow and the neighborhood is also very good then you have to make sure you check on the future problem like deferred maintenance your electrical your plumbing your roof your foundation make sure all those ones are good so what i'm just trying to do in this video is to let you know that it's fine to buy property because of appreciation because of the current market that we are in the market has changed and it's not going to slow down anytime soon if you have the means and uh, you're able to find a property in a very good neighborhood and you don't need that 200 cash flow every month to pay your bills it is okay okay to buy that property for appreciation purpose because if you look at 10 years or even just three four years down the line you are better off buying that property than 
number one not to do anything or number two to buy the same similar property but in a very not so good neighborhood so that being said i hope this helped you if you find value in this video make sure to like it share it with anybody that you think will help and don't forget to, to subscribe to my channel thank you i'll see you on the next one bye bye